it time the Packers move on from Aaron Rodgers? Well, Skip, that's really difficult to say at this point in time right now. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is dealing with an injury. We don't know if it's a broken rib, rib cartilage, but we know it's painful. I don't know if you had one of those, Skip, but I had torn rib cartilage. I've not had that. <laughs> I've had everything else in the world, but I didn't have that. You don't realize how much you use your torso? Try to breathe. Like, damn, that hurt. Brushing your teeth, brushing your hair, putting on this. You can't get comfortable. It's hard for you to breathe any position, and it's, it's painful. So imagine a quarterback, and all he does is this. All he, he Dak made it, <laughs> Dak doing the, the, the hip thrust dance. But that's what quarterbacks do, Skip. They have to turn, they ro have to rotate in order to throw the football. So it got very, very painful. And you can see him grimacing on the sideline and just got too painful. Uh, it was reported that uh, I think they showed a, a, a clip of it when the staff was carrying out his suitcase. He couldn't, you know, uh, carry it. I'm surprised anybody doesn't have a roller anyway. But it didn't skip the hit that he got, that he seemed like he got he he got crunched on. It didn't look that painful. No. But hey, sometimes the most important, sometimes the biggest hit don't look painful and you uh, uh, suffer injury from it. Yeah. Skip, here's the thing for me. Aaron Rodgers is a four-time league MVP. He's one of the five best quarterbacks I believe to have ever played the game. Jordan Love looked good, Skip. I know it was mop-up duty last night, but I like the way he spun the ball. So now, did I. It's a lot easier to come in, Skip, doing mop-up duty. But he threw the ball off. He kind of looked like Aaron Rodgers, the way he was throwing the ball sidearm and just flicking the wrist, and the ball was just jumping out of his hands. Agreed. <sighs> Aaron Rodgers doesn't want to give this thing up, Skip. He says he might be able to practice. I doubt he'll be able to practice because when I had mine, I just ended up shooting it up that Sunday and playing. Now, I'm not having to throw. And obviously, Skip, I didn't play every, you know, I basically played passing downs. Couldn't do a whole lot of blocking. That wasn't my forte anyway. Mm. But you hear what he said. He yep. said, I, I might be able, probably won't be able to practice, but I'm looking forward to playing on Sunday. Now, you talk about ownership. He owns the Bears. It doesn't matter if they're Green Bay. It doesn't matter if they're Soldier Field or wherever they play at. He owns the Bears. I would correct that to Bears and Cowboys. <laughs> Bears, okay, Bears and Cowboys. Okay, he has ownership stake in two of those franchises. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Skip, the, the Packers are going to have to take a long, hard look. Do they have a what, what, do, what do you think the chances are? If I'm the Packers, I'm looking at this. What are the chances? Let's just say for the sake of argument, Aaron Rodgers is able to play. Do you think we're actually going to run the table and make a playoff? Because I don't believe it's all lost. You're not catching, the, you're not catching Minnesota. They're not about to lose out and you win out. So you, that's done. You are not catching Minnesota. So that's done. So the best you can hope for is a wild card. It looks like there might be three teams coming out of the NFC East. Just for the record, they're four and eight. Yeah. And the ESPN <laughs> analytics give them a 2% chance of still making the playoffs. So they got go a ahead. skill milk chance. Yes. Okay, it's time to go to Jordan Love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, time to, it's time to start for the future, Skip. We got an early start on the future. And I, I, I'm sorry, Aaron, but right now, it's just it's, it's a done deal here, Skip. I'm going to move on. I'm going to see what I have in Jordan Love. Well, you don't have no choice but to see because you stuck with him. You gave, up, uh, you gave up heavy compensation to move up a couple of picks to get him. I think it's, it's time now. Because I don't believe you're going to make the playoff this year. And what I've seen from Aaron Rodgers, it, it's, there's no more relaxing. Skip, there's no way around it now. He's not going to be able to dig you out of this. And it's time for uh, Jordan Love to get connection with these young receivers, these young backs. I thought they ran the ball fairly well last night. It was just a, simple, a situation. They, they fell behind, did a great job of coming back, taking the lead, had an opportunity to take the lead at 21-20, yep. and Crosby missed, shanked it, and uh, they go 20-20, uh, and then the Eagles tuck off from there. Yes, Skip, I believe so. I believe after what I've seen, considering where they are right now mm -hmm. and dealing with Aaron Rodgers' injury, uh, yeah, I think it's time for Jordan Love to, to be the starting quarterback, and I'm going to see, I'm going to start for my future, um, what, 12, 13 games into 2022 season. I concur. It felt to me last night like Aaron Rodgers passed more than a football. It felt like he was passing the torch okay. to young Jordan Love. I'll give you that. Who at moments looked a little bit like Michael Jordan Love. <laughs> Just a little bit <laughs> he, here he, and there. He can flick the ball, Skip. He can flick it. All right. What do we know about Aaron Rodgers? I've said it many times. He is the all-time excuse-making Blame deflecting finger pointer. That's what that organization has has become worn out of. Right. He is the master media manipulator. That's what that organization has become worn out of. That organization is sick and tired of Aaron's vaccination controversies and his ayahuasca controversies. <laughs> and it's always something with Aaron Rodgers. Right. But he is the back to back MVP of this league. And they are paying him $50 million this year. So it seems incomprehensible you would want to move on from that, right? Yeah. 
you're going to have to make a decision here, Skip, because Jordan Love is coming up shortly. That is correct. And you need to see what you have. All right. So we saw some flashes yeah. of good old days, Aaron Rodgers yeah. last night, and yet in the big picture, he looks like he's playing on fumes to me. He looks kind of weather beaten to me. His body looks a little frailer than it used to mm -hmm. be to me. And in, in the end, you have to realize he's not Tom Brady. He, 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 he's not going to shatter the mold at age 45 no, or he's not age 46. No, well, he's, 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 what, 38 not, now? No, he he's a little, he on, might be 30. this coming Friday, he's 39 years of yeah, age. Yeah, he ain't playing another six years. He's looking his age no. to me. Yeah. So I hark back to the beginning of the year. I believe, from all I've been told, all I've heard, and all I'm just sort of interpreting from a distance, I think there is much sentiment in the upper offices in, in Green Bay, Wisconsin, to move on from Aaron yeah. Rodgers sooner than later. And I'm going to bring it up one more time. Our man Lil Wayne tweeted, I'm going back three games ago, mm -hmm. after the Detroit loss, yeah. that all right, he said, RIP to the season, we should have gotten rid of 12 before the season. Right. Okay, Lil Wayne is the die-hardest Packer fan you will ever find, but he is very plugged in. He's close with the coaching staff and with some people in the front office and with definitely a bunch of people in that locker room. Right. He knows what of he speaks. So I, I keep harking back to that because that was significant to me that he would tweet that. Right. That I think the indications he got is that there were some indications from on high that they were – angling toward getting rid of 12 already like well, they they wanted to move on well well you probably should have skip because he's been a, he's been able to hold you hostage since he, he had that mvp correct that first season yeah when they took jordan love so he won the mvp and he's been holding you hostage ever since so because he capped off the two mvps with what it losses at home. <laughs> at home he lost the nfc championship yeah. game at home as the number one seed to brady and the bucks and then he lost at home to the 49ers and jimmy g as the number one seed. Well, Skip, he's been hammering you over the head with the hammer. Now, Green Bay, you finally wrestled away from him. Yep. The broken thumb and the rib injury. So now you've taken the weapon away from him. Now you should use it. Now, he says he wants to continue to play, Skip, as he long does. as they're mathematically alive. I got it. Well, Skip, I, like I said, I don't believe they're going to run the table and have uh, all these teams lose five or six games, and somehow they sneak in as a wild card. You and I both agree. Minnesota is a lost cause. They're not catching Minnesota lost for cause. the division lead. Okay. So for me, okay, wait, I wait a game, Skip. If I wait a game, what, what does that really do, Skip? Waiting a game to say, do to we're mathematically eliminated. What does that actually do? That doesn't help Jordan Love. I need to get Jordan Love meaningful reps. You do. Now, although it doesn't mean anything going forward as far as, you know, making the playoffs for us, but I want to see him in live competition because some of the teams that we're playing, they're trying to make the playoffs and trying to get position for the playoffs. Okay. The schedule is fairly easy to close, so you can make a case, well, let's stick with Aaron just right. to see if we could catch fire and make miracles, right? They play the 20th easiest closing schedule because they're at Chicago, as you say, he owns the Bears. Right. Then there's the bye week, which comes at a pretty good time. And then they got the Rams on Monday night, and the Rams aren't even a pro football team anymore. <laughs> then they go to Miami. That's an L. Yeah, that's the one L. But then they, they close with Minnesota and Detroit at home. Well, you can argue those would be L's anyway, right. one way or the other, because those two teams are playing one at a very high level and one at a shockingly yeah. higher level than we expected. De Detroit, is def offense. Detroit is definitely playing. Their offense is really legit. Okay, it's really legit. So now back to that word legit, back to excuse making. When we talk about injuries, y you and I go back and forth. I, I don't know. You, you make a great case about cracked ribs. Are they actually fractured? Are they bruised? Are they what? I don't know. Or he because, has torn cartilage, yeah, rib or cartilage. Tor torn, torn cartilage. I, I don't know. He went so far as to say after the game, I was having a hard time breathing and, and rotating my upper body, as you point out. But he said, I, I was worried about a punctured lung as well, so I wanted to get that checked out. Okay, now we're going real exaggeration right. over the edge because I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure you can't puncture a lung without some kind of penetration. Like right. you need to get shot or stabbed or the needle that goes through as or, or, a tie rod head. Or, or, Skip, you get a blow so hard, so severe 
I didn't see a... Now, maybe, Skip, you going across the middle, full speed one way, and the other guy comes in, okay, that. It's just hard to puncture it with a, 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 blunt, yeah. a blunt force yeah. blow, right? You got to... Yes, I'm saying, you got to... Yeah. That's a car crash. I okay. mean, you got to yeah. really okay. be hit. Right. But I didn't see that last night okay. in the sack. I, I didn't either. So, again, I'm not sure what to make. We've gone through the whole year. My thumb is this, my thumb is that, then it's broken, and then last night you're saying, well, it's actually better than usual last night. Okay, so let's let's do the best and the worst first of Aaron Rodgers. Okay. Let's look at his two touchdown passes, which tease you into thinking, well, wait a second, maybe, That's Aaron Rodgers. maybe he's still there. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he's not getting old. If we could see the two throws for the touchdowns that actually kept them in the game and put them into a tie. That's the first one to Randall Cobb. And here is It's the same one to Randall Cobb again. Yeah, here we go. To Randall Cobb. Nice. And then this, this is, is to, Aaron Jones. This is to the unsung MVP, the other Aaron. And that little man can play some football. Yeah. Yeah. He can play football. And this actually, to your point, tied the score because of the missed extra point. But off those two throws, you say, uh, okay. But he weaved in a couple of first half interceptions, and that's the second time in four weeks because he did the two right. at Detroit in the first half. If we could see the two interceptions now. Because these make you stop and say, wait a second, he's just looking old and on fumes here. He scrambles and throws, whoops, bat, bat popped up in the air and picked. Yes. Bad idea. And then... This was a tremendous play by Blankenship. Whew, and, and he is undrafted out of Middle Tennessee State. He drove and on this. It looked like they're like playing quarter, on. quarter, half. Yep. Yeah, not a, uh, the one in Blankenship, yep. and he yep. drives this ball. That's an unbelievable play for a rookie yep. safety skill. People yep. don't realize how good a play this is for a rookie. And by the way, that's he, not Ed Reed. That's even rookie safety, ladies and gentlemen. And he, and he drives this. And he's thrust into the game because the starting safety is out. Gardner Johnson. Yeah. Okay. So that's the best and the worst we yeah. saw last night of Aaron Bleepin Rogers. Now let's look at Jordan Love, because for those who didn't stay up late enough to see this whole thing, I, I'm going to show you all nine of his throws. Uh, how many did he complete? I think he completed seven out of nine, or is it six out of nine? Uh, six out of nine. Okay, mm -hmm. six out of nine for 113 yards. Let's just see him in order just to show people what was on display. First throw, just a little flick into the flat to Corey Dillon. Whew, A.J. Dillon. God. I mean, A.J. Dillon. Boy, did he not. He brought the wood on that one. And then a quick out. That, that had some mustard yeah. on it. And then here's the one <laughs> to Christian Watson. Like you said, that's a terrible motion. angle, but no. you got to understand who you're no. dealing with. No. Is that, <laughs> you're out from running, you're out out running leverage now. You got to get yeah. leverage. Okay, that's the 63-yard touchdown. That, that's, yeah. that was sweet right there. And here's an out throw with also a lot of pop on it. A lot of pop yeah. not caught. That, yeah, could have been, been caught. Yep. Yep. Look at that. Pretty good. Just flicked it like Aaron Rodgers would flick it, right? Okay. And a little scramble. This this is the one I wished he had completed, but it's a little yeah, yeah. underthrown. Just a little. He had Lazard underneath also. And then here's another one to Tanyan. And then one more to the end zone, I believe. Back inside. It was a little behind. Yeah. But but again, you could see the talent on display. Yeah. What, what, are we up to his third year now? Third. Yeah, we're up to mm -hmm. his third year. And we got to see him start a game last year, and it was not a pretty sight. Yeah. It took Aaron Rodgers three years yeah. sitting behind Brett Favre until he finally started to get a hold of it. And when he got his shot, he was ready yeah. to seize mm -hmm. control yeah. of that job. And he did. And they saw enough skip. I think it was uh, like in November, 2007 that he filled in for injured Bre uh, uh, Brett. Brett got injured, and he yeah. came off the bench. And you saw signs. You're like, damn, okay. This dude yeah. can really spin it. Yeah, I believe that was a Sunday night it, game. I think it was. Dallas I think it was a Sunday night game. Yeah. Green Bay. Yeah. And you saw what you saw. Yes. And that's what I saw from Jordan Love. I, I was highly impressed right. with that young man. I, I liked his poise. I, I saw even more arm talent on display than I had seen before. I agree. Right? I definitely where, agree. If, if I'm running the Packers today, I'm sitting back thinking, you know what? That kid's got a chance to be pretty good. And, and I think the thing is, from last year to this year, Skip, he looked like a guy that was unsure. You're like, brother, you actually know what's going on because you watch him in Kansas City, and then you watch him come in in this moment. Maybe he's more relaxed now. And plus, Skip, a year of experience. Like I said, Aaron sought for three years. This will be his third year sitting. And you, this is, Skip, we normally... 
We're trying to give con quarterbacks that we know about long-term deals. Herbert's about to get a long-term deal. Joe Burrow's about to get a long-term deal. Yep. Tua about to get a long-term deal after year three. So he's going into year four, Skip. We got to find out sooner or later because you're going to have to pay him a boatload of money or you're going to have to move on and start from scratch again because Aaron Rodgers is not going another two, three years in Green Bay. That's not going to happen. So you need to make sure we got our guy, we're comfortable with our guy, now let's build around him. If I ran the Packers, I would tell Aaron, thank you, but no thank you. Yeah. We're going to shut you down for the season, and we can do it however you want to do it, but we'll, we'll tell people you're awfully beat up and you just need to to, to just take the rest of the you year know, off. You know what you're going to do. He's going to go right on Pat McAfee. He will. Boy, like, and, and go all the laundry and yeah. talk about they don't want me to play. They want to look at the kid. I'm ready to play. I think we can still make a run at it. He's going to make a big old, That's not how he operates, Skip. He has buried them in dirty laundry for years. Well, that's okay. Whenever, when, it, when they least expect it, he just dumps all over mm -hmm. them. Well, I got tired. I'm going to clean this laundry up, but you better. Yeah. Get up out of here, bro. Yeah. It's time. For, it's time to move on, Skip. It's I time. Think it, I agree. Skip. Here's the thing, and I told you this at the beginning of the year, Skip. When I started to get older, I could play. I could get you 100 yards a game, but it came with less frequency. And you see what Aaron Rodgers. That's he, exactly what's happening. He looked like Aaron Rodgers, but it's with less frequency. Yeah. Same thing with the guy in Tampa. He mm -hmm. can be Tom, mm -hmm. but not with the frequency that we expect him to be Tom, or we expect him to be Aaron. We'll get into that in just a few minutes here on what's happened to Tom Brady. But the point is that on Aaron Rodgers, remember, this is the, what, what are we up to now on interceptions? It's, I think it's uh, nine. Nine. And, and that's the most he's thrown in a season since 2010 when he had 11. So he's not an interception thrower no. until now. Right. That's been his <clears throat> hallmark, his claim to yes. fame. His calling card is, I don't throw it to the other team. And this year he has started frighteningly throwing it to the other right. team. Uh, yes, yeah, get this time to move on. for 113 yards, gentlemen. Mm. Jordan Love certainly made a statement. He's getting a ton of social media love, that's for sure. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.